It's time to check in with Doc Rob and the concierge for better living. We take a real, raw, inside look at healthier living while sharing great ideas and improvements for a better quality of life. The Concierge for Better Living will help informed, intrigued, and interested listeners like you make better choices for yourselves and your loved ones. CannabisRadio.com proudly presents The Concierge for Better Living with your host, Doc Rob. Hello and good day. This is Doc Rob here with your concierge for better living on CanvasRadio.com. It's a special day as always. Wonderful guests, wonderful information, but I'm really excited to share the fact that even though my show is quite young, we've been picked up by Clear Channel and then the show is now available on iHeartRadio and the iHeartRadio app. So anyone listening today, whether it be through a referral or a link, don't forget to check out the iHeartRadio app. Look for Concierge for Better Living with Doc Rob. Listen, subscribe, whatever it is, and share it with your friends. It's a lot of good information. I've had some great guests so far, and we're only going to get better. You know, when we talk about health and lifestyle, of course, this is primarily CannabisRadio.com, but I wanted to bring a little different angle. I want to talk a little bit about health in general and holistic living and better eating and and mindfulness and being a conscious consumer, which is one of the platforms I promote wherever I go. I don't really like labeling myself based on a diet or a fad. I just like to be a conscious consumer, always trying to learn more, get more information, become more educated, and, and, and make better choices on a day-to-day or moment-to-moment basis. That includes not stressing about it, being negative about it, but trying to be the best person and have a better day today than yesterday and focus on a better tomorrow. To the listeners and to people who I talk to, they're always like, well, you know, how do you do that? Well, of course, there's the internet. You got three-year-old kids swiping on their iPads and looking up games and information, which to me is amazing. But still, the internet is a, a newer kind of component to education. I still have a, a storage unit in Chicago full of books, you know, actual paper and textbooks. But with the internet, we have a lot of great resources and sometimes it gets overwhelming and sometimes it's hard to figure out good resources and which ones are telling the truth and which ones are just promotions and hype. It's funny that today's guests have a health-focused website and push out great information all the time. I was already subscribing to their newsletters and their updates before I got to meet them in person. And I had two or three different groups of friends and connections, you know, bring me to meet this wonderful couple that my guests say, without even knowing, different parts of my life and different areas, all kind of melded together and, and had me introduce today's guests, Larry and Oksana Ostrovsky. I hope I pronounced that last name right. I'm usually just saying Larry and Oksana, but <laughs> thanks guys for being on the show today. And let's talk about, you know, be well buzz. That's kind of what you guys have been doing, and it's great to have you. But I just said I, I knew about Be Well Buzz before I knew you guys, and then getting to know you and know that it's genuine behind the scenes it was really a great, you know, plus for me. Tell me a little bit about you know how did you guys get into all this? Yeah, well, of course. Yeah, first, first thanks, thanks for having us. It's a it's, a, <laughs> it's an honor to be on the show, an and, and congratulations on getting on Clear Channel. It's huge. We love what you do. And the information that you provide folks, it's, it's super powerful and we're excited for you. Um, yeah, so thank you, first of all. A little bit about Be Well Buzz. We started this. It's been a, a work of passion for almost eight years now. We, we originally, well, I originally started in the internet marketing world before uh, I met Oksana. And just because of my love of learning and excelling and this principle of Kaizen, like what you just mentioned about getting better each day. It's not, you know, about tomorrow waking up and being, you know, a thousand percent better than the day before. It's about gradual steps to improvement. And because of my passion for improvement, I dug into better living and health and this, you know, internet marketing lifestyle was kind of getting to me and working in front of a computer for many hours. And I was just searching for things to get out of the stress and, you know, my, my weight was piling on and I came across uh, a raw food guru who shifted my paradigm about nutrition. And then I got into Chinese medicines and raw food. And, um, you know, I learned a lot about 
different paradigms of eating and a lot of misinformation out there. And I just started digging in. And then I met Oksana and kind of indoctrinated her into my lifestyle, which was pretty crazy. Yeah, 100%. I remember first day I walked into his house and opened his closet and it was literally stacks and stacks and stacks of things that I could not even pronounce. I'm like, there's something wrong with this guy. <laughs> but, uh, you know, after kind of a few superfood smoothies, I got what he's talking about and why he's, you know, preaching his lifestyle to me. So I kind of jumped on a bandwagon pretty quickly as well and started making all sorts of awesome superfood smoothies that actually uh, were even better than his um, <laughs> in a very short while. So, but, you know, kind of like also after doing a little bit of a research and finding literally all kind of information, pros and cons to the same thing. So we were like, well, hold on a second. Well, who's right? Who's wrong? Should I try this or is this going to hurt me in the long run? So after figuring out that there's so much misinformation, we started Be Well Buzz more essentially as a platform for ourselves to go and curate different information and, you know, compile this information and fig pick the true pieces and share that with the world. It was more just educational platform for ourselves that just, you know, it started growing and growing and growing. And, you know, by now we have 150,000 person community, which is fantastic. So, you know, it's a work of passion that turned into... And I think what also. separates us is that we don't have any any doctrine that we subscribe to. There's no dogma. We're we're just we're staying open and speaking to you know great minds like you and you know taking in different perspectives. And you know it, what what we really learned over the years is that it's not about one diet or one thing. It's about bio identical nature of our our human bodies and bio individuality. Yeah, and it's being a guru of yourself, your own body, your health, and your own life, right? I love that. For me. You know, my company is called Personal Health Design, so I kind of get that a little bit. That idea that you can't wake up tomorrow and have it perfect, you know, medicine for someone is could be a poison for somebody else, you know, and, and people have to realize that that it's very hard. I always tell people, if you, if you think you found an expert who says they know everything, run away because there's no way, especially when it comes to health and lifestyle, that you can know everything. The idea of the practice of medicine, the practice of being better. It's a constant evolution. And, and again, I, I think that's great. You guys have taken this from a, a passionate place. Uh, that's how I came into this field as well. I mean, I, I wasn't well myself. I felt sick. I went and studied a lot. I mean, I took a hard route going through you know many, many years and a lot of student loans as far as education. But every time I look back, I, I'm grateful because I am a healthier person today, but I also been able to help people just by inspiring them and educating them a little bit. And that's what the concept of the show is. And I know that's what you guys do with Be Well Buzz. And usually, I mean, it's fun to see the people or meet the people behind these sites or a site like yours. Some people are all about just, you know, sales, sales, sales. And while that's always a way to keep the machine moving forward, when you actually genuinely care about people and want to help people feel better and you get those testimonials, which I'm sure you have a, a couple of that of people coming back saying, thank you so much for all the work you do. That's the reward that I look for. I know that you guys feel the same. Absolutely. Exactly. That, that's why we do what we do. And, and it's so true. I mean, like when we, we've been around the block a number of times and we've seen all sorts of gurus and everyone's preaching, you know, their, their point of view. And that's just this, their point of view from their personal experience. And a lot of a lot of people have dogma, and it almost becomes religion. And I see a lot of people falling into the trap of, instead of you know being open to different things, they get sucked in by someone that actually you know just says something that sounds good, and they don't do the due diligence and do the critical thinking necessary to really look through whether that's you know really good for them, and they just they take it as gospel and they run with it, and it could be damaging. So we've seen that end of things as well. Yeah, I know so, we actually have quite a few friends that have stepped you know into being whatever this thingy or being that thingy, and um, a year or so later they are sick. They're like, I'm not sure what I was thinking. So, you know, that's why we kind of, even the whole premise with Be Well Buzz, no one likes to give up stuff, right? Mm -hmm. No one wants to be on a diet. It's not sustainable. It's not long term. And then when you jump off it, you know, you just get worse. So it's, we always just talking about improving one little thing at a time. Don't take away anything that you love. Just add new good things. 
And that, that's the idea here. And concierge to better living. The idea is, you know, how can we be of service to make your life better to, today and tomorrow? And then hopefully the idea is that you share that with your loved ones, your friends, your family, your neighbor, or even someone you just meet in a in the aisle in the supermarket. So there's always ways to improve. We're going to take a quick break here. And this has been a great first section with Larry and Oksana from Be Well Buzz. And we'll be right back after this brief message. This is Doc Rob, your concierge for better living. The concierge for better living will continue in a moment. Gondrepreneur.com, your guide to the cannabis business world. Gondrepreneur.com is a comprehensive resource for cannabis professionals and entrepreneurs. Download the Gondrepreneur app on your smartphone or tablet to catch up on cannabis industry news, scroll through our daily job listings, and learn about successful cannabis companies, executives, and investors. Gondrepreneur.com, helping Gondrepreneurs grow. Dr. Dabber, hurry! Its temperature is shooting past 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It's burning up! I'm afraid for this little guy, it's just too late. What caused the problem? Only Dr. Dabber can maintain the perfect temperature for a smooth-tasting, slower burn. This standard vaporizer lost all of its health benefits, sending it up in smoke. So you're telling me that most vapor pens burn so hot they produce smoke, not vapor? Correct! Keep away from those standard vaporizer pens and turn to Dr. Dabber. Doctor's orders. Less heat, <laughs> More flavor. Cannabis Confidential with Dr. Dina. Candid. I want to give you the inside story. Captivating. I want to introduce you to my kind and amazingly talented friends. Compelling. We get to meet some of the most amazing cannabis activists and warriors around. Listen in as medical marijuana pioneer Dr. Dina shares never before heard stories, chats with cannabis insiders and celebrity friends, and provides invaluable perspective and insight into one of the fastest growing industries in the world. I want to share with you what was once confidential information. Let's expose the truth, discuss the issues, and learn the facts. Cannabis Confidential, only on CannabisRadio.com. Let's check back in with Doc Rob and the concierge for better living only on CannabisRadio.com. And we're back. Doc Rob, Larry, and Oksana from Be Well Buzz here at Concierge for Better Living. Again, it, it, these guys are a real deal. I, we, you know, and not just when these are random people online. I, I've met them. We, we've had juice and we have our friends that turns out in common. But, you know, we're always looking at new, innovative things, working at what's not only hot, but what's also effective. And I think you guys are based in California, which is lovely. You have great access to organic foods and healthier attitudes for the most part. And, you know, obviously there's that topic we're going to talk about, which is cannabis Mm -hmm. and cannabis and some of its compounds. I know you guys have embraced, done your research and have embraced CBD, cannabidiol. How has that played out? I mean, you've been vitamins, supplements, healthy foods, and then here we go into this category of cannabis. And mm -hmm. I know, you know, and you don't have just followers from California only. You know, how has the response been when you start bringing this subject matter to the table? Well, it's something that, you know, I've, I've been a proponent of cannabis for well over 20 years, you know, recreationally and otherwise. And for me, it's like, it's a bit crazy to, to even think that a plant, a beautiful plant, a medicinal plant, an industrial plant that has so many uses and medicinal qualities can be illegal in this day and age. And it just so shows the, the deep corruption and craziness of the world that we're living in. So I think that passion kind of shines through and I think people are waking up to the truth of what this thing really is. Look, Nixon did an amazing job of, of vilifying this thing and the powers that be have carried it forward and vilified it beautifully. They've done an incredible job. But as always, you know, the truth always comes out and it's starting to be seen as what it is and that's a medicinal plant. There's too many people having breakthrough experiences and we don't even have to it's not even a case that we need to make we just share stories exactly you know it's funny i was emceeing the chicago cannabis conference for mike and passion not too long ago and we had a whole bunch of doctors and lawyers everyone talking and one doctor really caught my attention and she's going to be a guest soon on this show so i hope people tune in for this conversation but you know dr melanie 
has 40 years or so of doing research and working 40 years ago going to Jamaica and looking at ganja and cannabis and the cultural use of it and the mothers using it for pregnancy during pregnancy and post pregnancy and as a beverage as smoking and all these different attributes and and was doing it for the government you know and reporting back to Nixon you know in those days and all the reports were very positive and he still threw it under the table and said, forget about it. It's not going to happen. And yeah. to me, that kind of stuff is really why we're in this bad state now is the reality is the truth of this amazing plan and the safety and the effectiveness and the applications are, are known. But now we're actually, you know, with groups like you and you know, great sites are sharing this information and getting a wider audience to be aware that they were fooled. And yeah. now – you don't really have to sell them on it. You just have to give them more research, more science, more information. Yes, yeah. education is the, literally the key here just because, I mean, even right now, people that are working in this industry, I mean, a few days ago, we had a conversation with a woman that was working with a massive community of mothers who have se children with seizures. And she doesn't even know that the CBD from industrial hemp and CBD from cannabis are the same thing. Right. We had this massive, like, three-day discussion. I'm not even kidding you. And I'm like, these are the people that have following and educating um, their listeners and their community, and they don't even know what they're talking about. So education is absolutely massive here, and it's so amazing to see even shows like you and all these, you know, big conventions that are opening people's minds to the power of this healing plant. Well, well truth be told, I mean, like, until I started digging in, I thought hemp and cannabis were different plants. Right. And then I started I started doing some some research, which people don't do. They just you know, they just hear stuff and they take it in. And again, it's like I don't think we have a drug problem in this in this country or in the world. But we have a critical thought problem and we have an education problem and yep. a compassion problem. We don't have a drug problem. And, you know, it's just a matter of people waking up to, to taking the steps to educate themselves. And, you know, I've taken the time to do that. And as soon as I did, I was like, oh, wow. I thought hemp and cannabis were, were different plants and I was actually, you know, like, oh, hemp is just industrial, it's, you know, this and then, then we have cannabis. So a one minute search on the internet will quickly show me <laughs> that hemp and cannabis come from the same plant, Cannabis Sativa L. So, you know, it's been, it's been fun learning more about this plant and, and the amazing uses because I didn't know about how much this plant can actually transform the world. And not only industrially, but also medicinally, it's just it's exciting to be on the forefront of helping people to to learn more about it and and deliver some fine products out there that can help people as well. And it's you know it's truly an honor and a pleasure to be a steward of this amazing revolution, as I see it. Yeah, it, it's it's amazing. I just uh, submitted an article, and I'm actually it's titled "Cannabis: Your Gateway Herb." Because I don't see it as the end game. I see it as the beginning for the masses to realize how powerful plants can be and how useful they are and safe they are. And we have so many plants and so many compounds that can be beneficial. In fact, you know, you're on the West Coast are a little bit more progressive, but here even on the East Coast in Florida, you know, a top neurologist, you know, was talking about how he has a lot of patients coming to him saying they're they're using C B D, you know, with epilepsy and seizures and you know, while the science is still young and we need more research and we need more facts on dosing and delivery systems and pharmacokinetics, it's coming. And that was really enlightening that even over here, a doctor is saying outwardly, hey, you know, and I'm not against it, but I want more science. I want more research. And that's what I'm hearing all over the country is that they're starting to wake up and say, hey, this 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 may actually do some good. And I've dealt with these anti-epileptic drugs and I've you know dealt with these neurologists and it's still a very immature science, in my opinion, based on how to treat seizures. And if they can find something safer than the side effects that these drugs cause, they're actually interested, most of them. I would say, I can't say all of them, but most of them. But that, that goes back to, you know, we need more science, we need more research, and we look at these different claims and delivery systems. One of the things that I, when I started working with CBD, I found that people were saying you need X amount to be effective and there was no literature to support that. They were just kind of making up a number in their head mm -hmm. saying, you know, maybe that'll be a way to sell X amount of units per day or whatever they were doing. But mm -hmm. I broke it down to a much smaller daily dose to start and told people to start low and slowly titrate up because everyone's going to react. Everyone's individualized. Everyone's got a different receptor system. Everyone's got other variables and some people react differently. So you're better off doing small or mm -hmm. doses and, and, and increment 
you know, higher and higher. I know you're not guys aren't giving treatment guidelines per se or diagnosing and treating. You're just providing education, but you've seen this too, right? I mean, people are curious about how much and getting different feedback based on different amounts. Yeah, and even like right now, we did launch a cannabidiol products as well. And um, in our community, I mean, so far, we've seen some people get off three prescription meds in just one, you know, one capsule per day, or one dropper full per day. And then others require three times the dose because they are battling with other conditions. And you know, and, and again, everybody is individual, yeah. they are individually yeah. different. So and you keep there's no one size fits all, unfortunately, and we give the same <laughs> advice. Yeah, when, when anyone asks about dose, we say, look, and anything, really. I mean, you don't know how your body's going to react. So a lower dose is always the way to go and then scale right. up if needed. So that, then we go into, again, you know, people are looking at – some people feel that there's a benefit of, you know, cannabidiol even on topical uses. There's been research showing things in regards to acne and benefits. So there's all these aspects and, of course – you know, I've done product development for over a decade and, and worked with different natural products. So you're always going to see these new innovations and new delivery systems and new sciences. And some of them are legit for real. I mean, they're, that's what we have. We have great science and great innovation. But some of it, of course, can be you know, comparable to snake oil or a bunch of air in a bottle and saying, breathe this daily, you'll feel better. This is something that we're trying to also delineate but whenever you have an emerging new industry like this that's gained such popularity and of course has an economic component to it where people have the possibility of making a lot of money you're always going to have some people who are, who are selling that snake oil and this is why we do what we do we try to give the best information that we have today and obviously if things change tomorrow we want to be able to be in that position of of integrity saying look here's the newest information available yeah so, exactly no yeah problem. It's an interesting state of affairs because, like you said, whenever something new comes in, we're kind of in this gold rush. And this gold rush produces a lot of charlatans and snake oil salesmen. And, you know, it's it's up to us to, to stay vigilant and call those people out. You set and, the standards high. And going it's going back to education and, and really, you know, really holding people to, to proving what they have. I mean, uh, we don't want the the government to roll in. We need to police this ourselves. And you know, and at, the, at the end of the day, transparency is is king in this day and age. And there's not going to be any room for for people that play these games because back in the day, there was no review sites and you know feedback loops that were happening instantaneously. Today, there are. <laughs> so it's a harder harder way to to go for these charlatans. Yeah, and again, for me, the, as I, and I say this often, is that one of the first things with CBD specifically that I did was I followed my, my tenets of being a doctor, which was do no harm. That was my primary message, you know. And so what I did was I researched safety and toxicology. And even with all this explosion of CBD and, and even THC, I mean, I, again, I'm not a, a against THC, especially I'm a big fan of THCA and things like that and the cannabidiolic acids. I, I, you, you still see a lot of positive reports and very little adverse effects or anything negative coming up. The safety is what's really amazing to me. And we're going to talk a little bit more after this break about some of the delivery systems, some of the things that we've found. But you guys, this is awesome information. I hope everyone's enjoying. Let's jump right into it. Forget about the break for a second. I've met a whole bunch of product developers. I've met a bunch of technology people. And I've met a whole bunch of, you know, just scientists that are telling me this, that, and the other thing. Even from the farmer standpoint, the cultivators, the growers, the science of growing a plant, that they're they're always evolving new nutrients. I just you know wrote this article saying you gotta look at how it's grown, in what conditions, what nutrients, pesticides being used. That's the first thing. Number two is, you know, if you're doing an oil or an extract, how is it extracted? Is it being CO2, which seems to be the most popular? It's a little bit more expensive, but it seems to be the least toxic versus you know butane, propane, or other solvents. And then, of course, once you know that and that there's no testing done, that there's no residuals, what's the delivery system? How is it getting into the person? And is that delivery system you know, ideal for whatever that person is trying to gain out of this taking this product? These are facets. It's not as linear as take this. Mm -hmm. Call me in the morning or don't call me in the morning type of thing. 
And there's different pathways that that you know each like whether it's water soluble or soluble. We're we're trying to really get to the bottom of understanding the science of how things are absorbed and the pathways that that these substances are taken. A lot of them mimic like if you take an opiate for pain, CBD actually you know we're learning that it it goes into the same pathway and it exponentiates the effect of the opioid. So if you're on like oxycotton or something, don't be taking CBD. Or you'll be able to take a lot lower dose of an opioid and right. get the same pain benefit or reduced reduction of pain benefits by using a plant in combination. That that's really exactly. exciting in that regard too. Absolutely. There's a lot of people also making claims that just aren't true. You know, people are saying water soluble because we're made up of water. That water soluble is is more bioavailable, and that's not entirely true. Yeah, I, I agree, and, I, and, and and I've been doing some research on that. Let's take a break now. And then we come back, let's address a little bit of the science, the water soluble, the nano, and then we'll wrap up with, a, you know, end this great conversation. So take a quick break. This is Larry Noxana from Be Well Buzz, BeWellBuzz.com. This is Doc Rob, your host, your concierge for better living at CannabisRadio.com. The concierge for better living will continue in a moment. MJWellness.com the largest medical marijuana community in the world. Connect with thousands of patients, doctors, industry leaders, and businesses through shared personal experiences along our worldwide network. Discover new therapies and benefits with content tailored to you. Come grow your network on mjwellness.com. You're not alone. Your wellness matters. Learn, live, and thrive. Check out mjwellness.com today. Your connection to quality cannabis insurance services is spelled K-A-E-R-C-H-E-R. That's Karcher Insurance. We have worked with ventures like cannabis for over 60 years. We're proud to represent over 50 companies with tailor-made cannabis plans for owners just like you to insure your product, your plants, and your pursuits. K-A-E-R-C-H-E-R spells out their full-service insurance services, ranging from commercial to bonds, to personal, from life to health, and more. Contact the team at KarcherInsurance.com and let our experience work for you. That's K-A-E-R-C-H-E-R Insurance.com. Contact Karen and the team at Karcher Insurance at 1-844-421-3560. That's 844-421-3560. Growing green to generate more green. Hello to all you happy herbalizers, smiling, trippy hippies, and everyone who believes in freedom and tolerance. This is The Grow Show, and I'm Kyle Cushman. From food to fuel, from remedy to resource. Welcome my guest, Ed Rosenthal, the guru of ganja. Let me ask you, right now I hear your lighter clicking. Are you smoking indoor, or are you smoking sun-grown? What am I smoking? I'm smoking concentrate. (laughs) Way to get out of the answer there. So you're truly like the the, the king, right? You just have, you just clap your hands and somebody brings you a bowl and you're all set, right? Mm, I wish that were the case. (laughs) The Grow Show with Kyle Cushman, only on CannabisRadio.com. Let's check back in with Doc Rob and the concierge for better living. Only on CannabisRadio.com. And we're back, Doc Rob, your concierge for better living, and my guests, Oksana and Larry, Be Well Buzz. So we were talking before the break about the different delivery systems, and I just say it's still an emerging science. There's still new research coming out, and I've done a lot. I've done around the country. I've met different people, and so water-soluble CBD compared to oil-soluble CBD, and I I just want to say that I'm still doing more research. There's still more research that needs to be done. I found a couple guys that I think are completely hype that they're claiming it to be water soluble and I just don't think that you know that's the case. There's a big difference between solubility and dissolvability. So even if it mixes in the water, if it doesn't really dissolve and absorb the same way, it may settle. Those are there's a lot of differentiations. And then of course with nano, nano being very, very, very small particles, is a compound like C B D meant to go in certain areas of the body, water-soluble or nano-soluble may have some at- attributes or, or benefits. There may be some good applications for it, but we're still trying to figure that out. One of the challenges that 
I found is that some of these lab tests that look for CBD aren't looking, aren't testing appropriately for a nano sized particle. So they can't even tell you how much is actually there. They're just taking the manufacturer's word for it. So now you could be drinking basically water with very little of any kind of active compound. I like at this time, I still go and lean towards the oil products, the traditionally extracted or CO2 extracted. You end up having a full spectrum compound. You have more of the terpenes, some of the other flavonoids. The body you know, has receptors for these oils, for these compounds. The body absorbs them, these you know, fat-soluble compounds you know, differently. Just we have certain vitamins and minerals like vitamin D, certain things vitamin E, certain things that work better in, and as a water-soluble vitamin and a fat-soluble vitamin. So, you know, this is not saying that water-soluble CBD is bad. We're just saying that the science needs to be continued and the research needs to be done. But right now, the results that we're getting from these oil compounds and oil extracts are, are really amazing. And while I found a couple scientists and labs that seem to be doing a good job with water-soluble CBD, you know, for me, I still got to do a little bit more, you know, testing, and that's just where my position is. I don't know if you guys have any other comments on that or found similar the same. I know you're going to keep researching it, like I will. You know, that's just kind of where I'm sticking right now. Exactly. I mean, it's it, it is an emergent. Uh, you know, there's a ton of different uh, options are popping all over the place right now. We were actually just talking with our one of our functional docs as well his perception of that is the oil based is more tar targeting towards let's say brain neurological nerve disorders while water soluble is more is probably a little bit better for tissues like so let's say tissue pain pathways. muscle pain just different target areas again as you said there is a ton more research needed but i think both of them have a place and both of them are very Absolutely. beneficial but i don't think there's more bioavailability to to the water hypothesis because it still goes into the gut, it has to be absorbed, it has to pass through the, the, the blood-brain barrier and has to go into your bloodstream and, and access. So unless it's nanoparticulized, then it, the absorbability is, is a moot point. So there's a lot coming up. I mean, the science is, you know, what we're doing with science is incredible. And we're going we're gonna to find new novel ways to make these things available to our body and be able to monitor. I've seen amazing devices come up that will precisely measure dose. And we're going to be able to use this medicine in a way that's going to improve health for many, many people. Yeah, it's very exciting. exciting times ahead. It is very exciting times. And again, I'm glad you guys are you know, working on this. I know you guys are very diligent in the, in the research. Thank you guys for being a guest on today's show. Keep doing what you're doing. My listeners, check out Be Well Buzz. Subscribe. A lot of good information. Also, check out the Concierge for Better Living on iHeartRadio. Download the app if you haven't already. Stay tuned. We have a lot more guests coming on with a lot more information. This is Doc Rob, your Concierge for Better Living. Thanks again, Larry and Oksana from Be Well. And thanks to everyone for tuning in. We'll talk soon. All the best in health and happiness. The opinions expressed on this CannabisRadio.com program are those of the guests and hosts and do not necessarily reflect those of the staff and management of CannabisRadio.com. Any rebroadcast or redistribution without proper consent of CannabisRadio.com is prohibited.